radishes actually came up a lot more, but they sprouted a few days ago. So this is Leah, Alessia, and Natalita's garden. We have over here some strawberries, which I don't think they're gonna survive because they drowned in rain last night. So obviously they got too much water, but look at how cute. Can't wait to show Alessia. Hurry! Cierra la puerta que va a entrar los mosquitos. Mosquitos no. No entra a mi casa. Aquí, mira. Aquí. ¿No lo ve? Se parece con la ranita, está muy pequeña. <risa> y mira este cómo se ha puesto. Está más grande. Está más grande. Guay, mami. Dale. Anoche cogieron bastante agua para. Llovió. Es ok, baby. Mucho me echaste mi dedo. Es ok, eso es agua. Echa por aquí, por aquí. Es ok, planta. Es ok. La vas a sofocar. Es ok, planta. Ya. Vamos. All done. Planta, es ok, planta. No te tira, Bessie. Es ok, planta. Hi, everyone. I am back. So as you guys can see, the layout of my videos is a little bit different, but I hope it seems slightly familiar. I want to try out something different for my style of videos and that basically is like reality TV, if that makes any sense. So I want to try out just showing you guys the reality of my life and kind of like how and how it is every day and kind of just like use a different kind of editing style so I don't constantly have to be talking to the camera um, which I feel like would be easier for me and then I could just kind of sit down and talk to you guys later and interject which is what I would be doing um, here right now so you guys saw in the beginning of this video this little garden that I made for Alessia um, well I didn't just make it for Alessia I made it for Alessia, Lia, and Natalita which are my two nieces and they are obsessed with it it's so cute every single day i ever when i wake up i'm so excited to go over there and see if something has sprouted it's like the first thing that i want to do when i wake up which is what you guys saw it's the first thing i did when i woke up um so yeah every day we go we check the plants we see if something sprouted and we water the plants we um i have like this whole little fairy garden type of thing set up for them um, so that it's like all cutesy. Um, so that's something that I'm really excited about. Mira, mira como, mira como mira pescado, porque sabe que viene la lombriz. Mira, mira como mira, mira, mira como sabe. So we got this fish named Fishy, and that was the name that Alessia decided to give this fish. And let me tell you, this fish loves bloodworms. It does not like the little fish pellets. It is obsessed, obsessed with these blood worms. Every time you put it in front of the fish bowl, it's like, where is it? Where is it? And then it like eats it up. Loves blood worms. Loves blood worms. Mm -hmm. Hey! Hey! No, no creo que se dado cuenta que está arriba de él. It's right above you. Meat fishy. Oh, there he goes. <coughs> ah. No, I'm going. Get <coughs> this one. Get this one, Mama. Se está comiendo la comida.
if you need to speak. There's only a few areas that actually can anchor safely. So we want every bit of chain up because it's so deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we also don't want to lose the anchor. You want to come up to a plateau about 50 metres. We want to anchor right in the middle of that plateau. If the winds kick up, the anchor slips, the vessel's in place. Late confirmation that it's been secured. Can someone give me that angle, please? Right up and down, bro. So I've been making these uh, ruffle bags lately that are so cute. I've been making them for all of my friends. They do like to get involved and be seen, and I love that. That's a professional captive. Shot glasses. Angry you were before I entered the gallery. I'm right back. No, I'm not. I'm, I want to know. I'm just careful before I go to galleries. <laughs> what time do you like dinner? Dinner at 10. Perfect. You gotta go freshen up. They want dinner up. So I make them in my Recoma and they're pretty easy to make. I make them using the 8-in-1 device and you just have to use a um, sticky stabilizer so that you could um, stick the hoop that you want to use into the bag. The only annoying little tidbit about it is because it's a bag that's kind of like a weird, it's not a weird shape but it's like a... The, the entrance of the bag is like short so you kind of and the arm of the embroidery machine is like a little bit uncomfortable you kind of have to like hold on to the bag while it's embroidering so that's a little bit of no annoying but it embroiders in like 3.5 seconds so it's not that big of a deal and like it comes out so freaking cute so so i finished these little ruffle bags for my nieces and then i finished this um my car seat cover, I put Alessia's initials on it. So before you guys come for me about the car seat, okay? I already know there's gonna be comments in there saying, oh, I can't believe that you embroidered the initials of your kid in the car seat, like you can't use it for any of more of your kids or whatever so i plan on having all, all of my kids on um them having all of the same initials so and i plan on having that car seat forever so before you guys come for me okay my, any other kids that i have will ha use the same car seat and we'll have the same initials because for one i freaking love that car seat that is the best car seat I have ever tried out and I've used a few and they will have the same initials so I just wanted to put that out there before you guys come for me so I like to stuff these with tissue like packing tissue so that when I iron them I can iron them flat So cute. 
the one thing about these videos is I won't really know what's coming up for the next video because it will just be what I do the following weekend. Um, so it'll just kind of be like a surprise. Um, but yeah, so you just have to wait and see. See you guys later.